Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albina Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer from Vocation Brewing Company. Uh, I have no idea where vacation, Vocation is from, but the back has a lot of different languages on it, and it has... Oh, 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 oh! I'm going to guess the UK, because it has how many units of alcohol? Oh, yeah, 1.2 UK units. So I'm going to I'm going to make a guess that um, Vocation Brewing is from the UK. I can't really tell because that is not something I can really read. However, this is the beer. It is 5.7% alcohol by volume. It is Hop, Skip, and Juice Hazy Pale Ale. Back here it says, your beer, our vocation. A brewery is just another factory making a product. It's our people and their passion that make this our vocation. Vocationbrewery.com. Pour carefully, store cold, drink fresh. Well, this was from a advent calendar from December. So, and it was bought near the end of February. So, I mean, I don't think it's really all that fresh. I don't think it's been stored cold. So we're gonna open it over here and it does say may contain sediment. It opened nicely. Uh, Citra and Simcoe are apparently the hop variants I must deal with the most in this guy. My wife is naked above my head right now. Okay, so it is a very hazy golden color with bright white head. Lots of snap, crackle, pop. I really like the way the head is forming its tunnels and everything. Very Duvel-like, except it is fading a lot slower. Um, I cut my thumb and we don't have any band-aids. So I had to make a duct tape paper towel thing. I don't even know how it looks right now. I'm scared to look. It was good. I was shooting blood all over. It was fun. I get grapefruit, orange, and stone fruit from the can. Glass. Hmm, pretty close to the same. It really is. Um, not much to say either way. Cheers, let's try it. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep in mind that this beer is way past its, like, drink fresh date. Let, let's be honest, right? It was for a December, it was for a December calendar, so it was probably brewed somewhere between July and September to be shipped for October to be packaged and shipped for November to be consumed at some point in December. That's the one thing about these calendars, right? Everybody's always big on their, we want to drink our beer fresh. Well, if you're buying a calendar, you're getting all these cool beers that you might not normally see. The ability to get them super fresh is fairly minimal due to the fact that, well, they're traveling from all over and they have to be made for this or put aside for this. And then they still have to get packaged. They still have to get distributed. They still have to get, then you still have to wait. Like if you're, if you're, if this was the December 24th beer, 
man, you waited another 24 days to get to it from the time you started. So, I mean, yeah. That being said, this is a very good beer. Oh, it's quite good. It's very juicy. I'm getting a lot of stone fruit. I'm getting apricot. I'm getting peach. I'm getting orange. I'm getting just a tiny touch of, um, tiny touch of grapefruit at the back of the throat and a tiny touch of orange peel pith at the back of the throat. I find that to be very nice. That is, I can't, I can't deny it. That is a very nice beer. It really is. It's a very nice beer. It's a very good drinking beer. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my Zippo out of my pocket. It's driving me a little nutty there. It drinks very nicely. It's very smooth. It's very easy drinking. It's very soft. It is probably the most inoffensive hazy pale ale I've had in a very long time. In that there's almost no bitterness at all. That is that is juice. That is juice. Hop, skip, and juice is completely 100% correct on this. I'm a really big fan of that. That is a beer I can get behind. That's a beer I think my dad would like. That's a beer, if my grandmother was still around, I think she could like. Well, my grandmother on my dad's side, my grandmother on my mother's side still around. And the last beer I got her to drink was the Clit. Um, I... I like this beer. I'm gonna give it a 7.75 out of 10. I would buy that again. I would buy that on, on the regular. That is a good beer. Anyway, vocation. Hop, skip, and juice. Bye-bye.